Good morning, all you beautiful people and the people that look like me. God help you, because you in deep doo-doo. <clears throat> um, my beverage is empty. I need another one. I'll get one here in a few minutes. Anyway, uh, first off, I was watching a live stream earlier. And the subject was uh, marital intimacy. Or I guess it can boil over to relationship intimacy. Intimacy? Aluminum? No. Um, somebody said that the intimacy was gone out of their relationship. And they didn't know that it, they didn't know if they could ever get it back. You can. It's just going to take some work. Um, <coughs> some of the things that, that worked to keep the intimacy in my marriage was we would make jokes about things that most people wouldn't make jokes about. Like, um, uh, let's see. Okay. Me and my wife were in the thralls of passion one night. And I suddenly just stopped. I froze. And she laid there for, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds. And she said, Donnie, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. Just hang on. Well, another 10 or 15 seconds went by. What's going on? Nothing. Just, just hang on. She said, Donnie. You're scaring me. What's what's wrong? I said, would you just wait a second? I learned this from a professional. She said, learn what from a, from a professional? You're not doing anything. I said, yes, I am. If you'll just give me a chance. She laid there and she said, Donnie, what the hell is going on? I said, look, I learned this from Pornhub. They call it buffering. Okay, um, about six months later, well, I, I found out that we had conceived a child before that, because, you know, kind of, <coughs> excuse me, it kind of ruined the mood that night, because we started laughing and forgot about the, the thralls, but about six months went by, and she's laying there, she's pregnant, and and I come running into the bedroom with a bottle of hair styling gel in one hand and a metal detector in the other one. She said, what are you doing? I said, I just figured out a way to save a bunch of money. She said, what? Doing what? I said, I found a home sonogram kit. Three months later, I woke up. In the delivery room. <clears throat> and, you know those monitors that... I spent a lot of time getting knocked out when I was married. You know those monitors that they have by the bedside? They, uh, they tell when a contraction is, is starting and how strong the contraction is. Well, I started watching that monitor and being a smart aleck, which is me. I've gotten kind of good at it. I've had like 4,300 years of practice. But uh, every time one would start, I'd go, Oh, honey, you're having a contraction. Donnie, I know I can feel it. A few minutes go by. You're having another contraction. I know. I can feel that one too. A little bit later. Oh my god, that one. Honey, you're having a big contraction now. I know! I can feel it! <sighs> uh, a few minutes later, she turned and looked at me. My sister was in the room. This is a true story. If you guys ever, ever ran across my sister, she would be able to tell you. Cause 
yeah, she was standing there. A few minutes later, my wife looked over and said, Honey, will you hold my hand? Oh, no. Fellas, if your wife or your girlfriend or whoever is ever in labor and the contractions are getting up there and she has to hold your hand, no, do not do it. My butt backed up in the corner and I did not move until the doctor was down there with his catcher's mask on going, yep, here it comes. Don't don't ever hold a woman's hand when she's in labor. You'll regret it for... I'm surprised I can play guitar still. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. <clears throat> but... Um, I forgot where I was at. Okay. Um, fast forward about 15 years. 14, 15 years. My wife was going through breast cancer and she had just finished the she had just finished the chemo and was getting ready to go through surgery and she was she started crying and I started crying and she'd cry a little harder I'd cry a little harder too finally we're both in tears because every time she starts crying harder she's reaching over smacking me making me cry harder because it hurt but uh, I, I said, Melissa, I want you to do me a favor when you get healed. She said, what? I said, well, I want you to take off running through the backyard. She stopped crying and looked at me and said, what? I said, well, I want you to run through the backyard for me. She said, why? I said, well... You know how you get in a rowboat and you've got one oar and you just paddle on one side? She said, yeah. I said, well, I want I want you to take off running and see if you run a straight line or if you just spin in circles. She goes, what in the hell goes through your mind? I said, nothing. Which most of the time is true. <clears throat> uh, a while after that, we were laying in bed. And these are all true stories. I, I caught flack about the the running through the backyard thing because her friends didn't know that that's just how we deal with, or dealt with things. We would make fun of the situation and, you know, it got us through. <coughs> but uh, we were laying in bed one night after she healed and we were talking about phantom pains. And I let the, let the conversation die down. Oh, once I reached over and went... Doo -doo 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 -doo. She looked at me real weird. And, what are you doing? I said... Doo -doo 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 -doo. She what are you doing? I said, well, we were talking about phantom pains. And I wanted to see if you felt... This was about that high off of her... Uh, her mastectomy scar. I said, well, we were talking about phantom pains, and I wanted to see if you felt that and if it helped you out any. Did it? No. I'm going to sleep. I advise you to either go to sleep or get out of the bedroom. I slept on the couch. <laughs> oh. Anyway, if, if you feel like the intimacy is going out of your relationship, do anything you can to restore that intimacy and keep it going. It doesn't mean you have to be physical all the time. It doesn't mean you have to have sex all the time. Make her laugh. Make her feel good. Compliment her. Spend time with her. You know, just don't give up. Anyway, um... What I brought you all here today for is I'm going to show off my lack of steel guitar skills. Um, 
I've been fooling around with this thing, not working on the fundamentals, just trying to get a feel for it. And I've come up with some pretty good stuff. Stuff like uh Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Um I'm telling you, I've got 40-something years of experience being an idiot. I'm never going to stop. Slide guitar is not as easy as this one. When I've been playing this one for 30, close to 40 years. I've been playing this one for about three weeks. All right. Y'all be good to each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all love one another. Be good to each other and be human. And I've got to cut this off because it's at 1130 now. Or 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Somewhere in there. <sighs> Just be human. And work on your relationship instead of throwing it away. Or letting it slip away. I'll talk to you guys later.